हेलो हेलो जेसिका वेलकम इन यू बैक मैम वेलकम बैक जेसिका uh let me see if, if uh, monisha yes comes in or uh, when she gives me the sends me the request i will add her in sure. we can begin with our questions okay and uh, with the last thing happening i have to say but i was able to understand each and everything i was too focused that's why where it went little feeble i did not want you to stop because i could understand the wisdom and everything you're imparting because when i focus on your lips i can feel that words energy jo bhi aap impart karna ja rahe ho i totally get it with this oh, thank you for that hmm. uh from the last till we were able to understand ki hame aware ho jana chahiye agar hame pata chal gaya to us awareness hone ke baad then what needs to be done ki wo to pata chal gaya and i'm blaming aapne bola ki is cycle mein aap aware ho ke blame wo jo blame ho raha hai usko aap apne se detach karo तो लेकिन उसके बाद वो पर्सनालिटी शिफ्ट के बारे में जब जो आप कन्वे कर रहे थे प्लीज इफ यू लाइक टू डू दैट अगेन यस डेफिनेटली सो यू नो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट व्हेन वी बिकम अवेयर दैट दिस लिमिटिंग बिलीव व्हिच आई गॉट फ्रॉम माय पेरेंट्स बिलीव्स इज नॉट हेल्पिंग मी सो विदाउट डिसरिस्पेक्टिंग माय पेरेंट्स मेंटली आई विल स्टार्ट ड्रिफ्टिंग अवे और डिटैचिंग माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम दैट बिलीव हाउ will i do that by repeatedly telling my mind that this belief will not help me grow and there are nlp techniques so people who know nlp they know how to take care of those beliefs uh, you know how to remove those beliefs as well so you you just are able to remove that belief in one or two uh, th- uh, therapy sessions or you know those techniques having said this if you don't know nlp then in that case you can just uh, keep this in mind permanently that this belief i am not going to believe in by still respecting my parents because you know there is a very thin line what happens the moment let's say you believe in something and what you believe in i do not believe in so right. the moment this happens now automatically my mind will start thinking that i am not like jessica so i do not like jessica Okay. this is very natural to happen so we have to be aware of this also we should not be disliking our parents for their choices for their belief systems because those belief systems they got from their life so we will be okay. loving them but still be uh, not working with those beliefs at, at mm-hmm. our level understanding it really gives the gives a very balancing approach i feel I was able yeah. to correlate. Welcome, Anisha. Welcome, Anisha. Hello. So, with this, ma'am, I would like to ask another question, which I actually received after the last session. Some people did WhatsApp and asked me this question to convey to you. With this, mm-hmm. it was that how did my my parents' relationship with each other influence my understanding of love, intimacy, and commitment? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so they with this question it was they are were meaning to ask that does my parents own relationship with each other does impacted my relationship which i am right now in pursue of or in future right now as we are living in a generation where half of the people are scared of marriage itself of the concept who are even getting married mm-hmm. they are get uh, they are getting out of that marriage within two or three months they are mm-hmm. not giving that commitment and consistency within this marriage so please share your perspective on this ma'am hmm yes it do matters it, it does matter uh, i would like to say the parents relationship and you know while every relationship has their own fights quarrels uh and i would like to know from monisha how do you feel because you know in every relationship there are quarrels that happen we also fight at times in front of our children because you know we live we live together they'll get right. to know when we are not talking to each other or when we are over talking <laughs> on <laughs> each other so uh, you know this perspective i feel monisha will uh, help us a lot how do you feel do you feel scared do you feel that you know love is not worthy or what exactly is it monisha they like it's uh, it is a bad feeling and it feels weird and uh, when you both are fighting so me and my brother like shiv we both also get angry and we are blaming each other 
हेट बिकॉज ऑफ यू इट इज हैपनिंग और इफ ही इज नॉट हेल्पिंग मी कर देख लिया अब अब देख लिया टाइप में सो वी आर ऑल्सो फाइटिंग दैट कम एंड हेल्प मी डोंट यू सी दैट दिस इज हैपनिंग और समथिंग दैट टाइप वी आर ऑलवेज फाइटिंग देन इन दिस केस थैंक यू फॉर sharing this monish and i really uh, on this public platform also while i always apologize to you and shiv you know whenever something uh, difficult happens because i know how it can take a toll on a toll on you and shiv having said this i would like to apologize here also because you know because of us if you get this kind of feeling uh, no child should get it having said this i will again take monisha jessica and all our viewers back to that uh, you know rule that we are also learning we are also human beings uh, me my husband or you know husband and wife they are different people living together they have uh, given birth to few children or their child now but still they have their own emotional up and ups and downs they will also have their own conflicts while yes the question that you asked jessica our parents relationship with each other uh, has a deep impact on the psyche or the psychology of the children and as you can see monisha is really young at this point of time to understand that love love of uh, you know a partner thing but then she uh, she herself mentioned right now that she and her brother they start fighting so it's a kind of atmosphere that gets created which creates a kind of a mentality that you know people are like this there is no benefit of talking with love or talking politely etc etc so yes this happens and while uh, it impacts but i would also like to convey it over here again for everything now there is a very delicate balance that we have to maintain so yes while the fights or the relationships amongst the parents impact the child having said this we should not deprive our child from a natural relationship that is there in the home so if there is some quarrel or some fight our children should be aware that fights happen because what will happen is uh let's say monisha or shiv doesn't even know that we have ever fought and when they will they get into their relationships the disagreements will happen fights will happen then it will be a taboo for them oh, people fight no i don't want to live with this man or i don't want to live with this woman this will start happening because they have never seen it so moderation of everything is very resourceful and fruitful for us having said this extreme of everything is a poison for us but yes answer to your question is that it impacts was i able to give some context around the entire thing jessica ma'am more than that i guess we when i heard manisha what she was saying you from her perspective it gave me a very enlarged wisdom that from a, from that that age a child starts feeling and she as a person could make this difference ki because of this i and she also fight so hmm. and you accepting and recognizing that yes it happened but again there has to be a balance otherwise everything would be lovey dovey and when the ah. actual acceptance and reality wo bahut mushkil ho jayega fir life mein karna very true very true and with this i would like to welcome uh, i am uma and preeti chahat mittal bhavi thank you very much for joining in so lovely to see you and please feel free to ask put your questions on the comment and we'll be answering at the last 10 minutes hope this session brings you some enlarged wisdom and some knowledge that you have never thought ki ye aaj milne wala because ma'am mrs prabhleen gupta is that of a personality that she brings the in depth understanding of a point or relation which we have never thought about so thank you for being you again ma'am pleasure so with this ma'am i have one more question please ask uh, this our communication ability our communication ability and world view perception that we have in our mind right now is also created by our perceptions value beliefs and perception capacity as well as like if you believe that world is really goody goody anisha as a person is also going to believe that right hmm. so after this as per the last discussion you a child should receive this up and down uh experience so they can balance them really well but with this a child now able to i am mixing two questions i feel right now that's so, fine so let me uh, 
let me put it all over again yeah. i think i have a get a better sense of this question sure. so what if now monisha as a person she has become an adult and understand like that life needs to be balanced and she has done every single thing right now to put it in balance mm-hmm. and create an atmosphere of peace and love within herself right but at the same time imagine their parents who have taken manisha or monisha in a way, particular way and she has changed as a person now but they are carrying that image of that so right now there might be parents as well who are listening and who might need to change their perception or view for their child when it's right time right like if they have gone into study somewhere else and still they are holding on to that image of their child so what needs to be done from the parents angle that they also create an atmosphere of this peace and love once the child has grown up uh, yes uh, please proceed jessica also ma'am my question is that for the parents what suggestion you will give hmm. that as children grow up and they form their own personality and perceptions of view and how to communicate and do things or they're balancing themselves and this process parents hold a perception or view of their child that they hold on to it and that true that hurts them right somehow as well because yes. they have expectations it, it really does hmm. so, it really does uh, not only to the parents but to the child also so with this how if some parent is watching right now how what would you tell them to how to manage this and still maintain a relationship with their child a happy Absolutely. and loving relationship very true thank you for asking this question jessica because i was actually eagerly waiting that this topic comes up and i'm so glad that you have asked this question uh, i'm not going to answer this question uh, for the parents who are listening to us i'm actually going to answer this question for the parent within me who is listening to what i'm saying as well you know the job of a parent or the job of parents is not only to grow or develop their child it is also to develop themselves as a parent also so for example when monisha was 1 years old 1 uh, year old my uh, responsibility for uh, my behavior towards her will be different has to be different and when she becomes 5 year old then my behavior has to change i have to evolve as a parent also as monisha and shiv are growing so as the relationship grows we also have to grow ourselves as a parent we cannot be you know uh, let's say our children are going to college and we are just treating them as if they are in nursery class that is why they feel hurt because in their head they are they are looking at their children as you know the one who is in the cradle but right. you know we have to enlarge our view as well look at them in the present moment yes cherish the journey you know how they were when they were born and you know the entire journey to this age so far but now they are this this is monisha okay now my behavior has to be according to what she is now so this is what i would like to say that as a parent we also have to evolve in our relationships with our children was so kind was it, was it uh the the question that i answered was i able to answer it yes ma'am completely i really got the perspective that you are actually inspiring people right now to reflect them wow. as self as a parent to so they can also become what their children at that point of seek also and what internally the peace also they are seeking by just changing and growing what with the child, yes. age of the child very true as a parent we cannot be stagnant we have to keep on evolving as well now with this i'll have to come to one more question what if what if thou now our children had gained wisdom regards to some perception but they hmm. are doing wrong with their life right and hmm. parents know about that they are doing right with their life and they do not want to be pushy as well because they feel they will lose the grip of hmm. the child all right so hmm. how would you tell in this scenario parents to handle this situation where they know the child what he or she is doing do wrong but also they do not depart from mm. their that relation they feel envious or angry of that relation because that mm. really happens a lot especially yes. at the it's a common age, problem even at the till the age of 30 i feel even if your parents saying something to you and you will feel that not no 
they are not understanding me you, and you drift apart slowly and gradually and think you will not share anything with your parents and but they always at all times their parents are feeling whatever we are not we are saying not they are not doing a child they are doing wrong so hmm. with this i would like to know your uh, answer on that experience definitely so uh, you know uh, the question involves that let's say if the child is doing something wrong and parents hmm. don't want to be pushy but they also hmm. want to you know right bring them back on track right like right. That, right so again you know it's my favorite question i generally keep on discussing this with many of my clients during their uh, counseling sessions uh you know there there are two words that i'm going to share with all of you today uh, the first word is indifference and the second word is detachment okay so the answer is don't be indifferent be detached now my i request to all of you sitting here hearing this and who will be listening to it later on also reflect on these two words the meanings of these two words and i will try to explain it in as simply simple words as i can indifference means that i don't care they don't listen to me uh, let them do what they want to do hmm right detachment is that let them do but wherever they fall down i will be there to support them right so the so the answer to this is many parents think many uh, many parents think that they will be interfering in their child's life even if they are thinking of the well being because of which they don't say anything they give a silent treatment to their children right yes. seeing them going uh, in the wrong direction but you know they cannot see it for long so what they do is they keep on piling up what they have to say and at some particular moment they erupt like a volcano and then the relationship is you know ruined child right. thinks something else parents say ki oh meko to pata hi tha ye meko sunega nahi aise se karke ye to sunta hi nahi a kind of thing will happen what i would like to say is that for the parents not only the parents who are listening to me but the parent inside me also that don't be indifferent to your children yes it's okay to let them do what they are doing having said this maintain a safety net maybe an invisible safety net that whenever they fall down you are the first one to hold them up right, right. so this is what is required in this the detachment quality of detachment is required and detachment doesn't mean you are far away from them detachment means that you are not interfering but you are there with your love and compassion for them whenever they need it amazing thank you so for sharing that ma'am and it was really valuable for listening that how creating a detachment mindset but not that detachment which you feel is the meaning of detachment is create a huge difference whatever you say this somehow bringing more love compassion and care for the for every single relation and every single what comes align with your life i feel thank, so you, thank you jessica i feel the same i feel the same and you know nasriya has also uh, shared a very beautiful point with the fighting thing that we were discussing okay. where she mentioned that whenever she, you know she was experiencing it in her life she decided there and then that she will not be doing it in her life that is also one of the way you know if the right. parents are fighting you decide you decide because you are an individual you are going to live your own life they are not going to uh, breathe your uh, breaths okay. you are going to breathe your breaths right so mm -hmm. you decide that okay my parents are fighting my parents got separated my parents etc etc et and then we will decide that okay they may be having their own reasons to take these steps but in my life if i will ensure that i will nurture the relationship i will nurture myself from the first episode me myself and world around me so i will nurture myself so beautifully and i will nurture every relationship around me so beautifully that this thing will not happen in my life not out of disrespect for our parents but out of that responsibility and respect for our life that we have got obviously to no. our parents but we are living we are going to live our own life on our in our own ways right with thank this you ma'am thank you for sharing this with this ma'am and thank you nasriya uh, for your wisdom for us uh, so with this ma'am i oh, sorry with this ma'am i'll have to tell
I think it got paused. Uh, in case in the audience, if anyone would like to ask any questions, please feel free to do that. We would love to answer your questions, Monisha. In case you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, actually, I have one question, and uh, yeah. I was uh, like, I have always. Uh, like experienced heard also like generally we have some contradictory situations with uh, our parents like if i take my example on one hand uh, uh we or i hear that uh, you are now now you have grown up you have to do the things yourself like go and like for certain things go and ask yourself is it available and do it yourself go and ask whether it is applicable for you and uh, like as when i was 14 uh, my father also said me that you may find a job to do as a part time and so in that case and uh, like it's basically some a freedom sort of thing but at the same hand like when uh, there's a like the things for the other things like if i take an example of my uh, trip it, which was going and uh, then i or uh, then that time it, it was said that no you are uh, not uh, you're not uh, like that big and not that mature so like these are contradictory th uh, contradictory things that one side we hear that you have the freedom to do these types of things and second uh, on the second hand we have uh, no you're small for that <laughs> that that's a very beautiful question uh, monisha and i love you for asking this is my voice audible by the way huh? yes ma'am yes okay thank you so because i actually want uh, to answer this question uh, with all my love for you monisha yes you are right it happens a lot and i feel that it has happened with me as well when i was small and after becoming a parent to you and shiv now i have realized that what is the reason behind this contradiction and in fact you know i have realized that why it is not a contradiction you know uh, we all have to remember that a parent is always protective of their children they don't want their child to get into any trouble having said this it is the job of the parent to to uh, expose the child in mild troubles so that the child is capable of handling the difficult situations but remember parent has to do it in the mild situations mild difficult situations not the heavy difficult situations now when they are doing it they are actually uh, also observing the response of the child how responsible are they becoming are they able to take care of it uh, are they take care of themselves are they able to handle things on their own so till the time they are not able to see that uh, you know responsible when i say responsible behavior i don't want to say that you are irresponsible or the children are irresponsible all i want to say is that to go to a trip it takes a lot of wisdom and uh, responsibility uh, for a children to be there on their own even if they have their friends or their teachers with them but the parent is not there so looking it from the parents perspective uh, they want themselves to be sure that their child will be able to take care of themselves in the hardest of situations also and that could be one of the reason uh, monisha that uh, from your perspective you see it is as a contradiction having said this from a parents perspective it's not a contradiction it's just that prove that you are able to do it and later on we will get it done for you i remember that when i was uh, when i was your age my mom used to send me to school on bicycle and it was a huge step for her to do that my parents from my mom and my papa it was a huge step for them to do because you know on road if something happens if you know if some accident happens so she was not afraid of it she was ready brave enough to uh, to expose me to that mild danger zone but still i was not allowed to go on any trip or to go on any to watch any movie in my times uh, for uh, with my friends and i also used to get the same feeling that you are sharing with me monisha but today when i look back and i try to connect the dots from the perspective of my mom because now i am also a mom of a teenager i actually feel that 
thank god she did this right she made me brave she made me courageous by sending me alone to school on a bicycle but still she was wise enough to make me to make sure that in those days i was in her uh, what you can say in in her uh, in her protection maybe so why she was not over protective but at the same time she was exposing me to various difficulties also was I able to answer your question by the way monisha yes but i think i will not be able to understand it right now mm. because uh, i am <laughs> But like, you was what is the trip? So yeah, I'm sure when you will reflect, you will understand it beautifully. Or else we so, will discuss. We are open to discussion. With this thrilling uh, discussion going on, I would like to pitch in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that please, it was Jessica. really insightful from a parent's perspective right now. Okay, but with Monisha's perspective, I would like to add on. What is she thinking that? they are taking care of me they want to keep me protected but what about till the time i get my exposure of life right that if you learn and face situations right when you get into it otherwise you'll never learn how to grow from this situation and so what about as a as a person as a child she's right now feeling what about the exposure of the real time i should get in my life then true absolutely so you know uh, jessica that's again a very good question and i would like to say is that exposure has to be done one by one we cannot okay. uh, uh, we cannot go naked uh, just to get the exposure right mm -hmm. so this is the same thing that we all must keep in mind that exposure has to happen in uh, uh, or exposure has to happen gradually and when the things happen gradually the time comes when we know that my child is ready or the fruit is ripened so let this fruit go now on the trip or let it go uh, go away uh, get off the branch right. so we need to ensure that our children are ripened up by giving uh, giving them those opportunities at home also by not mm -hmm. pampering them but preparing them Right. also uh, keeping an eye on the school activities that are happening or the college activities that are happening because many a times uh, all this exposure uh, is given to the children uh, when uh, when some college competition happens they right. go outside with the group etc if that is happening in that if this exposure is being given in their college with various competitions then you know the exposure is there they are getting it and when the time comes where they where we are we we also have to remember that parents always have the best of the things that they want for us to happen maybe mm -hmm. their ways of communicating it may be difficult for us to digest but mm -hmm. they don't want any harm for any of us for any of the siblings also so keeping this in mind a parent has to keep an eye on everything holistically if things are happening for my child or not where they are getting enough exposure and accordingly they can uh, prepare them or give them more exposure if required and keep on doing it so this is this is the wisdom from parents and that is required thank you for sharing ma'am and it was a phenomenal way of making maybe me right now understand and with manisha with time she will gradually will also understand this i'm sure about it so ma'am with this i would wanted to ask that how can you improve relationship with your parents for the people for the people who have with time grown distant with their parents and mm -hmm. but this and with your learning and understanding i've just understand one thing that if family as in your parents are not with you you will never be feeling that completely happy and satisfied all over Very again true. so how Very true. to mend this relationship between parents and you so if something has already happened or how to nurture already right now what is happening you are right jessica so you know there are seven things that we can do uh, right. as a child with our parents which will help us to uh, make this relationship uh, long lasting and full of love uh, the very first thing is that we all have to remember uh, when we when we are thinking from the child's perspective that parents are also learning they are on the job they have on the job training right so always remember and write it down everyone that parents are also learning 
and it's okay for them or we must allow them to be wrong sometimes what ha- happens is we consider them as a uh, as someone who can never make any mistake why that why like that they are also human beings right so they are also learning and allow them to make some mistakes the way we want them to accept us even when we make mistakes so let's yeah. give that permission to them also that okay it's okay if they have done something which i didn't like if they have treated me in a certain way uh, as a parent they should have been no they should have known how to treat their children if they are doing from they have done something they are human beings they can make mistakes that's fine so this will help us to have some loving perspective towards our parents second thing is that first listen to them so we coming back to what monisha was mentioning so let's say if you want to go somewhere or whatever or you are asking them for something first listen to them understand their side of story and then put across your point this is what i have learned in my life with my relationship with my mom and with my papa as well so what i have learned is that whenever they are saying something to me i have to listen to them first understand why they would be saying this by keeping all the judgments outside and then putting across my point this way i am able to convey my point in a very uh, impactful way influential way third thing which i would like to say is it's not only your parents responsibility to pamper you it's not their responsibility only it is your equal responsibility as well to sit with them and to pamper them do not stop yourself from hugging them do not stop yourself from kissing your parents do not stop yourself from pampering your parents just like that as say bus you know so this is what the third thing i would like to suggest because as a you will always remain a child for your parent ab baaki sab ke liye bade ho jaoge aapka teacher aapko bol denge ab tum bade ho gaye ho badon ki tarah behave karo par aapke parents aise honge ki aap jitna unke sath bacche ki tarah bacche ki tarah aise प्यार मोहब्बत से बिहेव करोगे ना उतना उनको और अच्छा लगेगा राइट right? so, तो वो शायद आपको उतना प्यार नहीं दिखा पाएंगे क्योंकि वो तो पहले से ही बड़े हैं आपसे पर आप उनके लिए हमेशा छोड़े तो आप उनको ऐसा जफी पालो हक कर लो और आप उनको आ, आ, किसी कर दो आप उनके साथ प्यारी प्यारी बातें करो कि मम्मा पापा ऐसा सब बच्चा बच्चा सा बन के यू नो पैम्पर कर लो उनको दे विल इवेंचुअली कम वेरी क्लोज टू यू ऑटोमेटिकली fourth thing that i would like to say is that many a times it happens ki uh, hum log kya chahte hain jaise maan lo ab mere bhi mama hai to let's say ki main maine uh, i have made a uh, vegetable maine ek sabzi banaya now i want my mom to uh, praise me ki bhai bahut achhi sabzi banayi hai prabhleen ha huh? i people generally want that from their parents that appreciation और जनरली हमको अप्रिसिएशन मिलता नहीं है पेरेंट्स से पेरेंट्स विल नेवर से कि हाँ बहुत अच्छा है वो कहेंगे हाँ ठीक है ओके इट्स फाइन दे विल ऑलवेज बी लाइक दैट राइट सी मोनिशा इज ऑल्सो लाफिंग सो पेरेंट्स आर एक्चुअली लाइक दैट सो वट इज दंत्रा टू गेट दैट अप्रिसिएशन फ्रॉम दैम एंड ऑल्सो टू गेट क्लोजर टू देयर हार्ट मोर द मंत्रा इज लेट से यू हैव मेड अ सब्जी और यू हैव मेड समथिंग अ फ्लावर पॉट अ कार्ड फॉर दैम हाँ so don't go and tell them ki aapko kaisa laga don't do this don't go to them and say ki how did you like it ha huh? go to them and say mama papa i have made this what do you think what should i wh- what else can i do to make it better ask for their feedback and you will realize that when you will ask their feedback na they will start appreciating you are beta itna acha to hai bahut hi pyara banaya hai so point is when you will ask for appreciation you will not get it but when you will ask for their recommendation for their feedback they will appreciate you and why they do it there is a psychology behind it the psychology is that they feel valued because you actually took them to a level where they can provide you the feedback aapne unka ahda aur uncha kar diya aapne unko maan diya hai right so ab us maan ko na chukana to hai na aapko और वो आपके माँ बाप हैं सो दे विल रीपे इट टू यू बाय एक्चुअली प्रेजिंग यू सो दैट्स द फोर्थ थिंग आई विल रिकमेंड एवरीवन और ये एक्चुअली मैं ये प्रोसेस मैंने अपनी तीन क्लाइंट्स को बताया था दोज 
वो वो टीनेजर्स अभी ट्वेल्थ क्लास में ही थी अलग अलग थी वो लाइक अलग अलग सोर्सेज से आए थे बट ये ये ही फॉर्मूला मैंने उन तीनों को बताया ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन देयर होम्स विद देयर पेरेंट्स एंड देयर डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन जो है वो फुलफिल हो गया सो दे वर नॉट डेफिसिट ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन बिकॉज दे गॉट टू नो हाउ टू गेट दी अप्रिसिएशन सो ये जरूर करना है कि आप अगर चाहते हो कि आपके मम्मा आपके खाने की तारीफ करे तो खाना बना के पूछो मम्मा ये ये डाला था इसमें और क्या डाल सकते हैं आई डोंट नो अच्छा बना होगा कि नहीं बना होगा ऑलवेज रिमेंबर अ हम्बल पर्सन विल गेट एवरीथिंग तो आपको अपने पेरेंट्स के सामने हम्बल बनना है बोस्टी नहीं बनना है यू डो नॉट हैव टू बी बोस्टी और शो ऑफ विद यू हैव टू बी हम्बल विद आप उनके बच्चे हो उन्होंने आपको जन्म दिया है तो उनसे कहा का कॉम्पिटिशन उनसे अच्छा हमें बनना ही क्यों है राइट right? जहां से आए हैं वहां उ, उससे अच्छा क्या होगा हम नहीं हो सकते ये चीज हमें याद रखनी है फिफ्थ थिंग इज इफ योर पेरेंट्स से नो एंड यू नो ये शिव एंड मोनिशा बहुत बारी करते हैं इफ द पेरेंट्स से इज नो देन से ओके एंड मूव ऑन मूव ऑन एज एन कि लेट से आपने बोला कि मम्मा मुझे आज पिज्जा खाना है एंड योर मॉम से इज नो सो यू से ओके और आप चले जाओ वहां से बिना गुस्सा बिना नाराज हुए और आप अपना काम करना शुरू कर दो इवेंचुअली आज नहीं तो कल आपके मम्मा आपको वो चीज करके देंगे वाई क्योंकि आप आपने जिद नहीं की आप एक समझदार बच्चे की तरह ओके बोल के अपने काम में लग गए तो इससे साइकोलॉजी क्या है योर पेरेंट विल फील इन डेटेड टू योर मेच्योरिटी अब उनपे कर्जा है कि मेरा बच्चा मन मार के बैठ गया पर उसने मुझे कुछ नहीं बोला और ये जो एक फीलिंग है ना अब ये आपके पेरेंट्स से आपके लिए फेवर करवाएगी ही करवाएगी तो अगर आपके पेरेंट्स ना बोल रहे हैं ये मोनिशा करती है ये बहुत बारी आई रिमेम्बर ये ये अभी टेंथ में है ना तो ये आई गेस सेवेंथ में थी और इसको आ, स्कूल में कोई पिकनिक था या पता नहीं क्या था इसको जाना था और एक रात पहले यू नो वी हैड सम आर्ग्यूमेंट तो मैंने बोला तू नहीं जाएगी तो इसने मुझे कुछ नहीं बोला इसने बोला ओके okay. और ये सुबह हो गई हाँ अब ये सुबह उठी है तो ये सुबह उठ के अपना नॉर्मल मतलब जो मैंने बोला था कि तू नहीं जाएगी ये उसी को मान के अपने सारे काम कर रही है कि नहीं जाऊंगी और मुझे ही इतना बुरा लग रहा है मेरे को माई गॉड ये बच्चा ये अपनी जिंदगी कैसे चाहिए ऐसे कैसे मना कर सकते हैं इसको तो जाना ही होगा एंड ऐसे डोके मोनू एक काम करो चले जाना सो यू नो दिस इज बिकॉज आप एक भार छोड़ देते हो अपने माँ बाप के ऊपर उनका कहना मानते काइंड ऑफ राइट सो ये चीज हमेशा याद रखनी है सारे बच्चों ने आप अगर बड़े भी हो गए अगर आप खुद भी पेरेंट्स होना जैसे मैं भी एक पेरेंट हूँ पर ये चीज मैं भी करती हूँ अपने मम्मा के साथ बहुत बारी तो मेरे मम्मा भी बहुत खुश हो जाते हैं she starts loving me more right then the sixth thing is cherish the advices of your parents and reflect on them without interrupting them jab hum bade hote hain na jaise jaise bade hote hain to hum bhi apne experiences gain kar rahe hain so what starts happening ki humko lagta hai hamare parents ko kya pata aur ye main monisha ke angle se nahi bol rahi hu ye main apne angle se bol rahi hu jo main ek beti hu apni mamma ki us angle se कि मुझे कुछ सालों पहले ऐसे लगने लगा था कि मम्मा को क्या पता है मुझे पता है है ना तो अब जब हम मैं ऐसा सोचती थी तो आई सम आई फाउंड कि वो मुझे जो भी चीजें बताती थी ना मुझे लगता था कि ये तो मुझे भी पता है ये तो मुझे भी पता है एंड सम हाउ यू नो आई स्टार्टेड फीलिंग कि ये तो डिसरिस्पेक्ट की तरफ जा रहा है एंड आई एम वेरी ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल माई टी दैट ही गॉट मी दैट विजडम बैक कि मम्मा से ऊपर नहीं उठना है पेरेंट्स ऊपर नहीं उठना है आपको आपको अपने से ऊपर उठना है एंड दैट इज द टाइम व्हेन आई रियलाइज कि ये मेरे मम्मा का जोड़ा हुआ इतने सालों का एक्सपीरियंस है शी इज शेयरिंग इट विद मी एंड इफ इज एंड इफ शी इज शेयरिंग इट विद मी इट इज माय रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टू लिसन टू इट सो लिसन टू इट रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन इट उसमें से अपने लर्निंग्स ले लो जो लेने हैं एंड देन स्टार्ट लिविंग योर Life with that extracted wisdom, वो आशीर्वाद भी है हमारे पेरेंट्स का सो ये एक चीज रिमेम्बर रखनी है एंड सेवेंथ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट 
जो जो दोनों करते हैं शिव एंड मोनिश आई एम वेरी ब्लेस्ड टू हैव सच चिल्ड्रेन एंड आई विश एवरी पेरेंट फील द सेम फॉर देयर चाइल्ड और चिल्ड्रेन हेल्प योर पेरेंट्स इन देयर डेली रूटीन थिंग्स यू नो पेरेंट्स बहुत उलझे हुए हैं अपनी जिंदगी में उनको बच्चे संभालने हैं बच्चों को बच्चों को बच्चों की अपब्रिंगिंग के लिए पैसा कमाना है उनकी लाइफ भी इम्प्रूव करनी है अपनी लाइफ भी साथ में इम्प्रूव करनी है वो बच्चों को जो तो सिखा रहे हैं या बच्चों को जो लाइफस्टाइल दे रहे हैं उनको अपने आप को उस लायक भी बनाना है अगर वो पैसा कमा रहे हैं तो उन्होंने उनको अपना माइंडसेट भी उस लेवल पे लेके जाना है दे आर आल्सो वर्किंग ऑन देयर सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट तो वो बहुत बहुत इंटेंगल्ड है अपनी जिंदगी में तो बच्चों को चाहिए कि वो अपने पेरेंट्स के रूटीन के काम में हेल्प करें बोले पूछे की मम्मा आपको कुछ हेल्प चाहिए पापा मैं कुछ हेल्प कर दू आप चाहे ना ही करो चाहे आपके पेरेंट्स आपको मना ही कर दे पर आपका सिर्फ ये पूछना ही ना पता नहीं कितने दिनों की थकान उतार देता है पेरेंट की एंड योर पेरेंट आल्सो फील्स कि यू नो आई बिलोंग टू माय चिल्ड्रन तो ये बहुत जरूरी है सो दिस सेवन एंटीडोट फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स एंड एंड इफ ऑल ऑफ यू विल अलाउ मी मैंने चाइल्ड की तरफ से भी लिख मैंने पेरेंट की तरफ से भी लिखा है जो मैं बताना चाहूंगी हर पेरेंट को वो ध्यान में रखना है do do shall i do that jessica with your permission ma'am please go ahead it will be even the parents who are listening they would share their rules of as children they need to follow but jo khud bhi unhone implement karna hai obviously please go ahead sure thank you so again seven antidotes from parents point of view uh parents ko ye sochna hai like from uh, the tips for parents to build a wholesome relationship with their children to wo seven tips hain jo maine likhi hain aur main aap sab ke sath share karna chahti hu always remember that your child needs you always emotionally aap money pe mat jaiye paisa aap de rahe hain bahut achhi baat hai aap nahi de pa rahe hain koi baat nahi bacche ko bura nahi lagega par bachcha aapko hamesha emotionally apne sath maangta hai राइट सो योर चाइल्ड नीड्स यू ऑलवेज इमोशनली आपको याद रखना है आपका बच्चा ग्रैंड पेरेंट भी अगर बन गया है ना आपका इमोशनल सपोर्ट तब भी रहना चाहिए उसके साथ क्योंकि वो आपका बच्चा है दिस इज दर्स्ट टिप फॉर ऑल दी पेरेंट्स आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर फॉर दिस इन साइड पेरेंट विच इज सिटिंग इन साइड ऑफ मी फॉर दैट ऑल्सो सेकेंड इज योर रिलेशनशिप ग्रोज विद योर चाइल्ड so you also have to evolve in that relationship main 15 saal ki monisha ko 2 saal ki monisha ki mummy ki tarah treat nahi kar sakti right so agar monisha 15 saal ki hui hai to mujhe bhi 15 saal ki mamma banna hai main 2 saal ke bacche ki mamma ban ke behave nahi kar sakti so always remember that and it and it is not only applicable to mamas it is also applicable to papas right so mummies and papas have to grow themselves in the relationship of a parent unko bhi ek ek saal apna birthday banana hai parent banne ka right to ye bahut zaruri hai third thing is do not pamper your children do not pamper your children just prepare them for life with wisdom not with love main love word yahan pe use nahi kar rahi hu kyunki love mein fir pampering aata hai आपको उन्हें पैम्पर नहीं करना है पांच साल की उम्र तक जितना पैम्पर करना है कर लो आप पूछ इनको शायद याद भी नहीं होगा मोनिशा और शिव को जब तक ये पांच साल के थे इनको खूब ही प्यार मिला है ऐसा कि बस ये तो गोदी से नीचे नहीं उतर रहे बट नाउ व्हेन दे आर मोर देन फाइव इयर्स ऑफ ओल्ड उस टाइम पे अब हमें इन्हें प्रिपेयर करना है सो दैट इज दी थर्ड थिंग दैट डू नॉट पैम्पर योर चिल्ड्रेन क्योंकि उसमें मैं देख रही हूँ ना कि आजकल बहुत बैड हैबिट्स हम दे रहे हैं अपने बच्चों को सो दिस शुड नॉट हैपन एट ऑल ओके सो आई विल रिपीट थर्ड थिंग इज डू नॉट पैम्पर योर चिल्ड्रेन बट प्रिपेयर देम फॉर लाइफ विद विजडम देन कम्स द फोर्थ वन फोर्थ वन से इज दैट डू नॉट ट्राई टू बिकम देयर फ्रेंड्स ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है यू नो पिछले कुछ दस बीस सालों में ना एक फ्रेंड चला है फ्रेंड बन जाओ फ्रेंड बन जाओ हर किसी के फ्रेंड बन जाओ आपको सास भी फ्रेंड चाहिए ससुर भी फ्रेंड चाहिए पति भी फ्रेंड चाहिए ननद भी फ्रेंड चाहिए माँ बाप भी फ्रेंड होने चाहिए फ्रेंड फ्रेंड तो बहुत सारे होते हैं माँ बाप तो एक ही है ना 
सास ससुर भी एक ही हैं ननद भी एक ही रिलेशनशिप होता है ननद के रिलेशनशिप को फ्रेंड रिप्लेस नहीं कर सकता राइट तो डू नॉट बी फ्रेंड्स टू योर चिल्ड्रेन बी फ्रेंडली बट बी द पेरेंट फ्रेंडली रहो पर पेरेंट बन के रहो क्योंकि उनके पास पेरेंट का कोई और सेट नहीं है यू आर दी ओनली वन सेट ऑफ पेरेंट्स फॉर दैम नो वन कैन रिप्लेस यू एवर उनका कोई भी दोस्त आपको रिप्लेस नहीं कर पाएगा तो आप उनके दोस्त ना बनिए आप उनके पेरेंट बनिए क्योंकि गाइडेंस पेरेंट से आती है फ्रेंड से नहीं आती फ्रेंड से तो हंसी ठिठोली आती है मस्खरी आती है वी डोंट वांट दैट वो उनके लिए बहुत सारे दोस्त हैं वो वहां से सीख लेंगे पर हमें उन्हें गाइड करना है सो वी हैव टू बी दी पेरेंट फॉर देम बी फ्रेंडली डोंट बी फ्रेंड बी द पेरेंट बिकॉज यू आर दी ओनली वन पेरेंट फॉर देम देन टीच देम दी विजडम ऑफ हैंडलिंग एंड नर्चरिंग द रिलेशनशिप ये सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है यू हैव टू टीच देम बचपन से ही शुरू कर दो पांच छह साल की उम्र से ही ट्राई टीचिंग स्टार्ट टीचिंग दैम टू नर्चर द रिलेशनशिप हैंडल द रिलेशनशिप ऑल्सो राइट क्योंकि अभी आगे जाके जो हमारे एपिसोड आएंगे उसमें हम रिलेटिव को भी डिस्कस करेंगे अब आज की डेट आज की डेट में क्या जब मैं बच्ची थी तो मेरी डेट में भी ऐसा ही था कि हमको अपने रिलेटिव से प्रॉब्लम हो जाता था उन्होंने ऐसा क्यों बोल दिया ये पड़ोसी ऐसा क्यों बोल रहा है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा पर ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है हमारे साथ हम क्यों नहीं इतनी बर्दाश्त रखते कि हम किसी की बात सुन पाए तो ये जो सीख है ना ये पेरेंट्स दे सकते हैं सो प्रिपेयर योर चाइल्ड फ्रॉम द चाइल्डहुड आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स आफ्टर द रीच द फाइव इयर्स एज की दे शुड स्टार्ट वैल्यूइंग द रिलेशनशिप दे शुड स्टार्ट टू नो द वेज टू नर्चर एंड हैंडल द रिलेशनशिप और यही चीज ना इनको शादी के बाद काम आएगी क्योंकि तभी अगर इन्होंने पहले सीखा हुआ है ना कि रिलेशनशिप को कैसे संभालना है नर्चर करना है ओनली देन दे विल इम्प्लीमेंट द सेम थिंग आफ्टर देयर मैरिज इन देयर इन लॉज रिलेशनशिप इन देयर हजबेंड्स रिलेशनशिप और वाइफ्स रिलेशनशिप ये वो तभी कर पाएंगे दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग द सिक्स वन इज शेयर विद देम योर फेलियर ऑल्सो एंड ऑल्सो शेयर विद Then how you overcame those failures? हम क्या करते हैं ना एज अ पेरेंट टू रिमेन इन दी गुड आइज हम अपने अच्छे अच्छे मार्क्स बता देंगे हम अपनी सिर्फ सक्सेस सक्सेस स्टोरीज बताएंगे तो हमारे बच्चों को क्या लगता है कि मेरे पेरेंट्स तो बहुत काबिल थे मैं ही ना लायक हूं पर ना लायक पेरेंट्स भी रहे होते हैं अपने टाइम पे कभी ना कभी अभी क्या होगा ना फिर बच्चों को कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाएगा कि अरे मेरी मम्मा को तो हर कोई प्यार करता था मुझे तो डांट भी पड़ जाती है अरे भाई मम्मा ने आपको बताया नहीं है तो मम्मा को भी कभी डांट मार पड़ी होगी बचपन में राइट तो बता दो बच्चों को कभी ऐसा नहीं कि जान कर बताओ कोई बात चल रही है तो शेयर इट विद देम कि एक बार ये ऐसा हुआ था मेरे को बहुत डांटा था और उसके बाद फिर मैंने सीखा कि ऐसे नहीं करना सो योर चाइल्ड विल नो की ओके इनके साथ भी ऐसा हुआ है ये भी फेल हुए हैं इनमें भी कमियां रही है राइट so you do not have to be the perfect perfect you have to be the real parents in front of them with all that you know flaws which you used to overcome your flaws and last but never the least ye ye next uh, hamare next episode ke liye bhi hai ye point jo last hai dear parents it is your responsibility i am repeating dear parents it is yours and only your responsibility to instill harmony bond love and respect amongst your children aap dekhenge kab se sibling fights bahut hota hai sibling rivalry yeah. why why aisa kyu hai ki mummy papa ka bachcho ke sath alag alag relationship bahut strong hai matlab main मेरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मेरी मम्मा का मुझसे बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग रिलेशनशिप है लेट आई एम टेकिंग इट एज एन एग्जाम्पल और मेरी मम्मा का मेरी बहन के साथ भी रिलेशनशिप बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है और मेरी मम्मा का मेरे भाई के साथ भी रिलेशनशिप बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है एज एन एग्जाम्पल पर हम तीनों का आपस में स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है ऐसा क्यों है नहीं होना चाहिए बिल्कुल और ये जिम्मेदारी पेरेंट्स की है बचपन से ही बचपन से ही और ये हम अगले एपिसोड में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं जैसे का यू नो दैट बचपन से ही पेरेंट्स को वो सब तरीके इंस्टिल करने हैं अपने बच्चों में ताकि बच्चे आपस में ऐसे हो जाएं। जब बच्चे आपस 
पे ऐसे है ना तो वो बच्चे अपने माँ बाप को भगवान की तरह पूजेंगे पर अगर बच्चे ऐसे नहीं हैं तो वो अपने माँ बाप को भी एक लेवल पे जाके डिसरिस्पेक्ट करेंगे सो एनश्योर कि अगर आपने एक से ज्यादा बच्चा पैदा किया है इफ यू हैव गिवन बर्थ टू मोर देन वन चाइल्ड देन टेक द कंप्लीट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट बोथ द चिल्ड्रन और ऑल द चिल्ड्रन यू हैव गिवन बर्थ दे शुड बी वेरी वेल कनेक्टेड एंड शुड रिस्पेक्ट ईच अदर दे शुड लॉन्ग फॉर ईच अदर ये पेरेंट की जिम्मेदारी है और इसको मैं डिटेल में डिस्कस करना चाहती हूँ अगले हफ्ते so these are the seven antidotes for the parents i would like to say uh, definitely nasriya uh, nasriya says that if i can say it in english thank you nasriya for saying this and i'm sorry that i used hindi in between uh, what i was saying is that we have often seen that siblings rivalry is happening but parents relationship with all the children is very strong but the children's re- children relationship with, with each other is not strong if it is not like this if they are not connected with each other the children the siblings then this is the lack of parent responsibility so parent must take the responsibility to ensure that they all their children are very well connected with each other internally and this particular thing we are going to discuss next week also under the episode number 3 which is siblings and you uh th- yes. thank you nasriya for asking me to sh- uh, repeat it in english i hope i was able to do that uh, jessica over to you thank you so much for sharing ma'am it was a, it, is, it is still now till now a very wonderful session going i was just expecting to find the antidotes about self not from parents end but i'm sure your enlarged wisdom and knowledge about this subject has given parents as well the antidote to make an amend relationship with their children because with every antidote i was just not thinking as from my perspective but as a from a parent's perspective also and relationship it does matter in our life very much and we want, we all seek love peace True. and prosperity in our relationships so why not start from ourselves and that's what i would like to share personal mastery believe in that reflect become and inspire and very true i highly highly recommend with each and every one with you if right now if you are facing some issues or problem in your own personal life or not able to understand from your parents perspective or from your own perspective to balance things please join in and become the family member of personal mastery mrs pradeen gupta has been dealing in different uh, several mental health modalities from past 16 years so please join and with with uh, neuro linguistic programming with hypnotherapy with body language to know more about yourself and i'll again have to say with personal mastery quote ma'am does inspire each and every participant to reflect become an inspired to become the best version of their life self and inspire the world with this ma'am i thank you so so much for this session and monisha to also for taking a precious time out for us for giving us this broader perspective and understanding about her feelings and emotions and for letting the parents also know that what they feel and how they can manage that so it's been it's been because of you monisha thank you so much and with this i'll uh, i'll say i'll have to say please keep on sharing your questions in the uh, whatsapp message or in the instagram dm and if you have any question you can contact at personalmastery.in we already offer personal one to one counseling sessions and as well we offer courses that help you become your best best version of yourself and with this i always also have to tell you you are welcome for our next episode three that is siblings and you we are hoping and wishing that you come there soon and also put your uh, question in the inbox so we can solve it it was Absolutely. really nice having you ma'am and thank you for such broader perspective every time even it's still i think 1 hour 20 minutes but i still feel it just half an hour i don't know why i feel that time doesn't move with you <laughs> thank you very much i feel the same with you with all the all the people who have joined us i'm so thankful to each one of you kruti umesh nasriya aishat aryan preeti bhabhi gurpratap
सिमरन भारती जुबैर अः उफियता पान देवेंदर डायना एंड एंड मेनी मोर आई एम सॉरी फॉर मिस टेकिंग आउट योर नेम बट इट्स नॉट योर वीकनेस इट्स माई वीकनेस दैट आई हैव फॉरगॉटन टू टेक योर नेम बट यू ऑल आर वेरी वैल्यूएबल टू मी एंड नाउ टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई वुड लाइक ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्लीज विश जेसिका टू गेट वेल सोन बिकॉज शी इज द वन हु इज नॉट फीलिंग वेल बट स्टिल शी इज हेयर टूडे विद आस लेट्स ऑल से एंड विश to wish her to get well soon for uh, for good health for coming back on track and she is already on track by the way lots of love to you jessica thank you so much ma'am and i'm so grateful for receiving from your just aura and everybody surrounding this sending me this healing and loving energies and i already feel energized to bring that right shift and right pathway in my life as you are there my guiding light i completely feel safe and secure I feel loved always with you thank you Jessica for this let's take a uh, night for today and have a really good night everybody in the audience and please feel free to put forward your questions in the insta dm and even visit ma'am website and put forward your queries we'll be happy to hear you soon thank you so much nasriya thank you good night very uh, much thank you good night dear all good night jessica good and monisha i will see you downstairs okay <laughs> and good night everyone good night monisha have a great great night yeah and see you all next week with siblings yeah. and you we can't wait to meet you again and ma'am to spend time again with you in this series in first Definitely. semester Definitely. Thank you. Have a wonderful night ahead, dear all. Thank you very much for joining, Bhaskar. So good to uh, have you here. Uh, I'm honored. And thank you, everyone. See you next week with siblings and you. And uh, please feel free to uh, get keep your questions ready. I would say and DM us if you would like to keep those questions uh, ready, answers ready for you. So Amazing. good night. Bye, Jessica. Good bye, night, Monisha. Good night, good Monisha. Night. Good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Good night. <laughs>